The Winter Palace in St. Petersburg, Russia houses the famous Hermitage. The massive art collection is displayed among the dazzling rooms of the Winter Palace. The Winter Palace was the official residence of the Russian monarchs from 1732 to 1917. Be sure to look at everything, including the gilded walls, beautiful ceilings, and beautiful floors. The military gallery reminds us of important events in Russian history, such as the Battle of Waterloo, with images of the first Duke of Wellington, as well as Alexander I of Russia. St. George's Hall was the principal throne room of the Tsars of Russia and was last used by Nicholas II. The gilded peacock clock was manufactured in the 18th century and features three life-size mechanical birds. The clock faces the hanging gardens that were created by Empress Catherine the Great and enjoyed by her on a regular basis. Stop to view the large mosaic in the floor featuring Medusa. Large malachite vases are seen throughout the palace and are formed using a Russian mosaic technique. Saint Sebastian is one of several paintings of Saint Sebastian by Perugino. This version shows the artist's name in the arrow on Saint Sebastian's neck. The Hermitage claims to have two rare Leonardo da Vinci paintings. The first, Madonna Lita, is questionable as to whether it is actually a Leonardo da Vinci painting. The second, the Benoit Madonna, is felt to definitively be a Leonardo da Vinci painting. You may even see paintings by the school of Leonardo da Vinci, including this painting, Dona Nuda, felt to be by Leonardo's close friend, Salai. Crouching Boy is a sculpture of the great Renaissance Italian sculptor Michelangelo. It is the only work by Michelangelo in the Hermitage Museum. St. Peter and St. Paul is a painting by El Greco and is one of several versions of this theme by the artist. The Rembrandt Room is a hall devoted to the paintings of Rembrandt and is one of the largest collections of his work in the world. Another highlight is a painting by Rembrandt of the figure Danae, who was the mother of Perseus. In 1985, a patron of the gallery threw sulfuric acid on this lovely painting, damaging it extensively. The painting has been restored, but the damage is still visible today. Sometimes it's actually hard to remember that you're in a palace. If you take a few moments to look around, reminders are everywhere. Across Palace Square is the State Hermitage Museum, which houses the Hermitage's collection of Impressionist and Post-Impressionist art. It is among the most famous collections in the world and is important to visit if you're in St. Petersburg, Russia. View works from Picasso's Blue Period. Or see Lilacs by Vincent van Gogh, painted in 1889. Paul Cezanne painted this very happy image of his wife in 1902, and it is called Lady in Blue. Some surprises included colorful images by Bernard Buffet. The State Hermitage Museum was a pleasant break from the dense crowds of the Winter Palace. We took time to enjoy the galleries of Monet and the special exhibits that included Kandinsky at the time we visited. The final treat of the day were viewing the paintings by Henri Matisse that were painted in 1910 called Music and Dance. These were surprisingly large, as we have seen them many times in textbooks and on commercial items, but never in person. Of course, the Hermitage is one of the most famous art collections in the world, and this is a well-deserved title. 
Some of the items in this collection are unique and not to be missed. The crowds at the Hermitage can be very discouraging at times and very frustrating at times. But all in all, take the time to visit this beautiful collection of art and don't miss the Impressionist collection that is across Palace Square. Thanks for visiting. Take care and make healthy and rewarding travel happen for yourself. <laughs>